Hey gang, Scott here. Uh, this video, we're talking about the various masking options we have in On One Tools, On One Photo Raw, On One Effects. This is part of a longer mini series about masking in On One. And what I'll cover in this video is the two different tool groups we have for masking. Why are there two tool groups? And uh, what does that really mean for your editing? And then what the tools themselves in each group can do other videos will go into each tool in more depth. So uh, let's get started here with, uh, with, with what we have in masking tools in On One. So here we are looking at On One Effects running as a plugin. The same semantics hold for On One Photo Raw. We have two different groups of masking tools, local and mask. And you know, why the two tool groups? Well, as I'll show you in a moment, when you activate a local adjustment, the local masking tools automatically get enabled so you can start masking because locals are all about masking. And then the mask group has more tool options. You can use any masking tool with anything that can be masked. You know, it's just uh, there's, there's a convenience factor with locals and you don't have to be limited to what's in the local group. But uh, I'll actually start with the mask groups. If I click on the mask group here, we have four tools. Brush, a gradient or masking bug as it's called to do gradients or radial shapes. The quick mask, AI powered masking, and then a line mask. And depending on which tool you choose, you know, the options available for that tool change. In the local group, it's a subset. You have the brush and you have the masking bug. Right. In this case, it's called an adjustable gradient. It works the same way <laughs> as the masking bug. Now, so so th there's there's some some confusion about you know why are there two different tool groups? Uh, let me show you you know wh maybe why they these things happen this way. I I'm not really 100% certain on the, uh, the the design choice when on one was working with things. But let's say I add a filter. I just pick one. I hit my masking area, and I get the mask group. And so I have my full complement of masking tools available to me. Conversely, if I were to go into the local and apply a local adjustment, when you do a local adjustment, a mask is added automatically, complete black mask, hiding everything, no adjustments whatsoever. And the local group activates automatically because Adjustments are all about localized things. You have to mask. So the convenience factor is it opens up this uh, this local masking tool area. Why couldn't it open up the mask area? Honestly, not sure. Don't really know. But let's say I'm working with a local adjustment and I want the line mask or I want the AI quick mask. I can still go into the mask group and use those tools with a local adjustment. So you're not limited to which mask tool you can use just because you're working with a filter or working with a layer or working with a local adjustment. You can pick and choose any tool that you want. Just know when you're going into locals, it's going to activate the local mask tool group. Anything else, it's going to activate the mask group. If you're working in Photo Raw, there is another masking tool group called Faces, and that's associated with the portrait module. So when you go into the tool well and choose Faces, you get that single tool available to do uh, painting work, and it's associated with the portrait module. That module activates automatically, and you've got the one tool there, your paintbrush, to do and you the retouching for portrait work. So kind of like how local is associated with the local adjustment panel faces is associated with the portrait panel so there is this uh, connection between the two but uh, as with locals if you're in faces and you're working with a portrait and for whatever reason you want additional masking tools you can go into the mask group and use them if you need to so those masking tools that are subsets faces 
locals are subsets of the mass group, you can always go to the mass group and use more tools. And there's one other group of tools to be aware of for masking, and that is the refine group. That's the third category here. And what the refine group does is let you clean up your mask. You have a few different options. We can refine the edges. We can chip away or add pixels at the edges, or you can do a soft blurring of various mask edges to smooth things out. Again, as I go through the series in, uh, in this masking mini series here, you'll see each one of these tools in turn. But that is the, the nickel tour of the tool groups for masking in on one mass group local and then refine to clean things up and the key takeaway if you click on any of your locals you're going to get the local tool group right away you can jump to any other masking tool and it'll work just fine so uh, that's it for this video i uh, hope you enjoyed it any questions go ahead and drop them below and until next time my name is scott davenport have fun